to think about bringing 25 musicians from all over the world, visas, air flights, for 30 days, you feed them, you house them, and you pay them on top of that. So when this tour for One Beat happened, uh, we really got to collaborate in a way I can't even tell you how powerful it was because every day we wake up and all there is to do is play music. But for each one of us, it was life changing. And the way that we got to experience being a musician, um, I think because we didn't understand so much about where all the music came from, we had to be very curious. That space of being very curious, like how do you hear this and all that, led to a support that I've never felt before as an artist, you know, that we really wanted to support all those vulnerable moments where we don't understand something. So after that happens, then we go on a two-week tour. Every night we hang out and that happens naturally. We're all jamming, we're making stuff happen, and so we put together ensembles. Ensembles came out of some of these workshops because we were, you know, we started something and it was like, oh cool, let's make that happen. Um, when it's going to some schools, we take some of our, you know, what we, I mean, it's super simple. Like when we show up in a school and like there's somebody that plays this weird instrument from Cambodia and there's somebody that's from India that plays this weird instrument. I mean, it's a very easy workshop. People are pretty, kids are pretty excited. Um, and we go out to the street and we set up uh, some mics and we just hang out in a park all day long. And all the passerbys who's ever coming around, we have them come up and start singing. At night, then we do the gigs. So then we play in uh, different venues. Some are rock clubs, totally like the classic rock clubs. Some are beautiful churches. Some are like really experimental spaces. Like they always have a beautiful diversity. They, they really, it's, it's not exactly what exact style that you play or whatever. You know, they're looking for some diversity and definitely musicianship for sure. But like I said before, they're looking for people who are open to this idea of social change. So this program, their major intention is that it doesn't stop at one beat. That after this tour, it's not that's all that there is, you know. Because all of us are from all over the world. They want other projects to happen. Anyways, the musicians are, are from, you know, all kinds of different walks of life. And, and I think that the main thing is that they really want people to be... Uh, open to, to this kind of experience. So the application process is not too complicated. Uh, the usual that you imagine is like a resume with some two recommendations. Uh, the next part is your how they want to hear what you do. So the first one is how you are as a solo artist. Uh, because you, as you saw here, you know, we collaborate all the time. But they also want to know that you have your ideas, that you already have you have a voice too, you have an individual sound. So one of the, the tracks that they'll ask for is something that either you lead, that you compose, or that is just you solo. It could be with a band, but they want to know that you have, um, you've created something on your own. The next one, uh, track they want is a collaboration. So then they want to see, okay, so you are, can be in group settings. And then the other one, they want three tracks that are anything you want. And the next portion is the portion I wanted to spend a little bit of time on, um, and that's the questions. So they have essay questions. They want to know, you know, they, the first one is like, what motivated you to want to do mo one beat? And try to give something specific that's personal. Um, you know, another question that, that, that is important is um, a question of how do you see yourself as a musician for social change? And uh, do you think that music could be uh, an act of social change? So that's it.